In this tutorial, I want to talk about action sheets, which are presented on top of your main content, where you want to give the user some choices to some buttons usually. And in Swift UI, the implementation for action sheet changed with iOS 15. Instead of action sheet, we have to use now confirmation dialog. And I'm going to show you these two versions. You might get confused with action sheets and alerts. An alert shown quite differently and usually it's if something goes wrong if an error occurred if some you want to give the user some critical information of things that are happening whereas action sheets are certain actions that you want the user can do in this situation and this is the demo project that i use for all this presentation stuff so you can see here how to use sheets and popovers full scene cover i also use this for alerts and now the last one is actually here this action sheet. So when I press on this person, I want to show this little action show saying change profile picture, edit profile information or log out. If I don't want to do any of them, I can press here cancel. This is the view we are going to build and I have here my user profile button. This is just this one person icon. And when I press on this button, I want to show this action sheet. With all of those presentation views, you need to have some state property that says if it's shown or not. So I start with head state private var is action sheet shown. And I say false in the beginning. When I press on this button, I'm going to toggle this property. So it becomes true. And now I can use this for my action sheet. As you see, this is a deprecating the future version of iOS. And that's the other thing, it only is available with iOS. So it's action sheet shown. And here in the content, you need to actually show an action sheet. Do something. I'm just going to check if you jump to definition and it needs to be a text. I got confused. Sometimes you need to give a string. Most of the time you get just strings. I'm going to just jump to definition. And now here there's a lot of available stuff. The first one for iOS says it is deprecated for version 100,000, which means this is soft deprecated. You can still use it for some time. But I already suggest you to use this confirmation dialog. The advantages confirmation dialog is also available on macOS. You see here it's not available. This action sheet. Let's see what this does. I press on this button and my dialog comes up. This is the title. Do something and then the cancel button you can always get. This is the just dismiss this action sheet. You don't need to do anything for dismissing these. I'm going to add here buttons and Every time you press one of these buttons, the action sheet is automatically dismissed. Okay, let's see what else is in there. We have here a message, additional information, and then the last one is buttons. And you have to set an array of action sheet buttons. Again, something with special types. So for example, I can here add a destructive button again with a text, something maybe log out. And then here you can perform an action when this button is pressed. So you should probably log perform user log out. And again, I need to use here text, not strings. Let's try again. I tap and now I get here this logout button. I probably should add at least one default button or cancel button. So I just add another one at this array. And now I have here this cancel button. You can add as many as you want to. There's three different types. It's cancel, the default, default would be a blue button. And then destructive, this is the one that gets red. Either you only specify the label or the label in the action. Although I guess for at least for destructive ones, I guess you would always do some performing things. Okay. This was now the older action sheet. Might be not so interesting. Let's change this to the confirmation dialog. Similar to before, you can have a title. Then the message, this is below the title. Maybe I just go for the very long one. So we see all of them directly in action. So the title, let's go for change your profile picture. The is presented. I can just use here this is action sheet shown property. The title visibility. 
I'm leaving here to automatic so we can test this in a minute. Then actions, this is buttons. And the name is a little bit misleading, I guess. What you can return here is just views, something like a button. And if I want to have again this destructive logout button. So log out. I'm setting here destructive so it gets red. Then I add here cancel button and one button with change profile picture and one with added profile information. And I also here have a message additional information. Let's see where this is coming up. So we have here this additional information on top. If I now change the title visibility to visible, I have now my change your profile title, the additional information, my three buttons, one is, of them is red. And if I tap on one of these buttons, you see my confirmation dialog is dismissed. This is automatically. As you see, it's relatively easy now to just add here this confirmation dialog and it also works on macOS. You can just add here buttons or other text views. In this action closure, you would only add here buttons because it's what actions does the user want to have? What actions can the user perform? This is the option I'm showing here in a list. If he doesn't like any of this option, he also can cancel. Now, if I use this user profile button in my app, this is in the second tab, because I have here different implementations for stuff. When I press here on this person button, my sheet comes up. It's semi-transparent. So the background comes through a little bit and the background is also dimmed. So we make sure that people pay attention to our action sheet. And we have here our title, the message, the three buttons and the cancel button. Okay, this is a wrap. I showed you how to implement action sheets and confirmation dialogues. If your app supports iOS 15 and higher, definitely use confirmation dialog. They're so much easier and you don't need to work with custom action sheet types. If you want to learn more about other views, other presentation styles like sheets or popovers, check out my other videos about this topic. I hope this video was helpful. Leave a like and comment. Until next time, happy coding.